They're letting you know that you are protected, that your angels are protecting you here. You know, you're seeking, if you've come here for confirmation, if you've come here for guidance, please affirm that. Let me know in the comments, my loves. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see what's the energy surrounding you guys today. I want to see what's going on with my Virgos. All right, my loves, I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to your, to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. First, first out, you have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. You know, this is, this is closing out. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot here. Investing, investing your time in your energy. You, you investing your time in your energy has, you've been through a lot in this. You have. I feel like you guys have closed out some cycles. Ten of Wands. Look at that. Ten of Wands is coming out. We're going to take this as kind of like an overall energy. You got the Ten of Swords. You got the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Seven of Pentacles is all about what you have invested your time and your energy into. You can do better. You can do better. This is what I'm getting in that energy. With that Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, your tough days are over. Your tough days are over. Meaning you can handle anything that comes your way. You can handle what's next. That's something that you can handle. Because the Seven of Pentacles talks about growth, but it also talks about patience. And I want you guys to put that in the comments. I can handle anything that comes my way. Because the thing about it is you can handle anything that comes your way. What Spirit is showing here is that your tough days, meaning the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, those days are over right now, present moment. But you do have to continue working. You do have to continue stri striding along. You do have to continue investing your time and your energy and your resources wisely. You do have to continue taking care of your health, taking care of your well-being, taking care of yourself, taking care of your responsibilities, your duties, all of that. You have to continue doing this. You do. You have to continue doing this. But the, the worst is behind you. The worst is behind you. If you truly believe this, I want you guys to put that in the comments. I believe. Because Spirit has shown me that your worst is behind you. Yeah. So let's see. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's currently going on. What's currently going on. Two of Swords. So you guys are going back and forth. You guys, right now, present moment, you're going back and forth. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. This could be regarding someone or something. You're going back and forth regarding someone or something here. Yeah. Eight of Swords. Look at that. Eight of Swords. You know, you may feel you may feel like you're stuck. You may feel like there's no way out or there's no way around this, whatever this is. What is this? Six of Swords moving on to calmer waters. Gosh. You know, I feel like this is what this is showing me is you guys going back and forth in your mind, in your thoughts, in your head. Eight of Swords, there's an excessiveness in this. There's an excessiveness of you guys kind of going back and forth here in this energy with that Eight of Swords. Because the Eight of Swords comes when someone is feels, feels stuck in their thoughts, feels stuck in their life, feels stuck in their circumstances when you really and truly you're not stuck in your circumstances. You're not stuck. 
you know, but it's for you to figure a way out of your circumstances. So some of you guys right now, present moment, you go back and forth. There's an indecision as well. Indecisiveness. Some of you guys, you may not want to face what's in front of you or face what's behind you. Like you may be in a place right now, present moment in your life where you're unsure. You're unsure. And because you're not unsure, because you're unsure, you, you, you're not making any decisions. You know, some of you guys, you're staying put. You're staying in your comfort zone. You're staying put instead of actually moving forward because the forward is unknown, but what you already know, you already know. So you may feel like where you're at right now, present moment is somewhat of your safe space. But this is also telling me that it, there's a revolving door, revolving door of your thoughts here with that eight of swords, because for some reason, I feel like you guys want growth here. I feel like you guys want prosperity. I feel like you guys, you, you've been patient. You've been trying to be patient, but you know what this is? I feel like spirit is trying to take somebody outside of their comfort zone and somebody don't want to go outside of their comfort zone. Somebody somewhat scared about going outside of their comfort zone. Yeah. Six of swords is telling me it's, just, it's to get you to a better place. You know, you're you're you may be indecisive or lacking the are lacking the fortitude to take what action is needed, but this is this is showing me that it's to take you to a better place here. There's a lot of swords here. There's a lot of swords, so this is telling me this is a lot in your mind. You know, and of course, Virgos, we stay in our mind here. So whatever this decision is that you you're very reluctant in making, or whatever this decision is that you're going back and forth on, this is telling me that it is to get you to a better place here. Look at that. Some of you guys is to leave one person alone to be with a better person here. You know, some of you guys, it is. It is. Um, or it's to leave a situation. So this has to do with a situation and or a relationship, a connection that you have with someone. So there's a connection here that you have within a situation and or with someone here. Yeah, tell me more. What's going on? What's going on with my Virgo spirit? Wow, that wanted to come out. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Some of you guys are in avoidance. Eight of Pentacles. So this could be a situation with your career, with your work, even with your education. Some of you guys, you, you're, you're in avoidance or even trying to work something out, Page of Pentacles. So we saw the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You know, this also, it talks about action. It talks about action. Look at that. Six of Wands. I've seen the King of Cups and now I'm seeing the King of Swords. Hmm. You know, this Page of Pentacles is telling me that there is a new endeavor here. There is a new project. There is a new job here. You know, it also tells me that there's an opportunity for you guys to create something new, to do something new. It is the stepping stones, though, because it is a beginning point. Starting, starting from point A to point B to point C. You guys are having to start all over again. But I see the Six of Wands here. The Six of Wands talks about success, victory, and public recognition. So still, Spirit is showing you that you're still going to do better. There's still betterment here. You may not feel it. Somebody here, you're coming here right now, present moment for confirmation. If this is you, I want you to let me know in the comments. Somebody here, you're coming here right now, present moment for confirmation. Yeah, because this is giving some type of confirmation here. Yeah, show me more. What's going on with my Virgos, the devil? Look at this obsessing. Obsessing. You're so dependent on whatever it is that you're going back and forth about. There's a sense of codependency here. There's a sense of patterns. This is a pattern. This is a behavior here with that devil Capricorn energy. Or this could be a person. There's some type of codependency. There's some type of dependency here. There is some type of addiction. There is some type of seduction. There's some type of temptation here. You know, this is this there's a pattern here. This is there's a pattern here that's coming from you. There's a pattern here that's coming from you. Look at that. Everything, it's saying everything is fine. Spirit is saying everything is fine, but you're I'm seeing two, two ten of swords. But not only that, look at that. I'm seeing this three of swords. What is your mind telling you? What is your mind telling you? Show me, spirit. Show me what I need to see. What is my Virgo's mind telling my Virgo? Ace of Cups. What does that tell you? Seek new. You see that? That Ace of Cups, this is what your mind is telling you. But why is there reluctance? Ten of Cups. Again, underneath that, you have this. There's a lot of, there's, there's a, you're, you're at a point right now, present moment, where spirit is like, it's time to close out some type of cycle here. It's time to bring something here to an end. 
it's time to close out a cycle. It's time to bring something here to an end here. And I feel like then it's like spirit is like, then everything will be fine. That's kind of the energy. Like then everything will be fine because you have this ace of cups and you have the 10 of cups. You're happily ever after. You're happily ever after. Yeah, let's leave that ace of cups down there. So that's what you, that's what's on your guys' mind. I feel like you guys want new. I feel like you guys want new. I feel like some of you guys, you know, you need new. It's like a fresh start. You know what I'm getting when I touch this ace of cords, ace of, ace of cups. I feel like you guys are seeking a fresh start. You may be in a toxic relationship. You may be in a toxic environment. You may be recognizing certain patterns. Some of you guys, there's, there's patterns here. There's shadow work, you know, and this is like you want new here, a new experience. You know, that type of energy is coming through here. But that devil, there's, there's something here that still has a hold on you. What's holding my Virgo back? What's holding my Virgo back, spirit? Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. This is telling me, some of you guys not wanting more responsibilities. You know, because with that Knight of Wands energy, like, or, or some of you guys, it's like, to, to have new, to do new, you it requires more of you. And you don't want to give more of you to the situation or to something else, something new. You know, some of you guys, you've gotten too laissez-faire. Like you've gotten too breezing through. You haven't been challenged in a while. Some of you guys, you haven't been challenged in a while. Not at all. Not at all. Some of you guys, you're in a, your comfort zone. You know, you can still play. You can still do certain things. Yep. See, look at that. Bottom of the deck. Nine of cups. Content. Some of you guys, you've gotten too complacent. You've gotten too content. Too, there's, there's too much laissez-faire energy that's coming through here. Yeah. The high priestess, the fool, knight of cups, and the moon. Hmm. There's a new beginning here. There's an opportunity of it. There's an opportunity of it. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's new coming in for my Virgos. What's new? The sun. Look at that. Healing and happiness, but hope. Healing and happiness, but hope. If you truly believe, I want you guys to put that in the comments. I believe. Healing, happiness, and hope. But this is also the sun shining a light on something, a situation. Death. I saw death already. Scorpio energy. There's an ending that's going to bring forth a new beginning. That's what's coming your way. We have justice and we have strength. It's going to take strength. If this is you, I want you guys to put this in the comments. This is me. Because you got a decision here. And you go back and forth about it. You got a decision here and you go back and forth about it. This could have to do with a situation surrounding your work, your career, and or your education surrounding what you're investing your time and your energy into, you know, your patience, your patience. There's something very toxic about this. There's something very, very toxic. There's an attachment here and you want new. You do. You want new. I feel like you guys want a fresh start. I feel like that's what this energy is. If this is you, let me know in the comments. Say this is you because I feel like some of you guys, you want a fresh start here. You do but some of you guys, you've gotten too lazy. If that, you've gotten too comfortable. You've gotten too comfortable, you know? Yeah, too content, too comfortable. You're not challenging yourself. You're, you know, yeah, I know you've been through a lot. Look at that. I know that you've been through a lot here. And because things are good right now, present moment, because things are comfortable right now, present moment, because things may feel a little peace. There may be peace around you right now, present moment, but there's not peace within. You see that? You may have peace around you in your life. You may be surrounded by peace all, 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 all about. But this is telling me that there's not peace here and there's not peace here. The sun. Healing, happiness, and hope. But this comes, you know, after an ending. After an ending and or a transformation here, justice, Libra energy. You see that some of you guys, there may be a legal matter here that you're, that's coming to a resolution. 
You know, some of you guys, you may have had some type of physical ailment here that you're healing from and you're getting stronger. You are getting stronger here. Some of you guys, you are leaving behind your comfort zone and expanding yourself because there's this kind of giving me an energy here of expansion as well, kind of expanding yourself, you know, strengthening yourself, testing yourself, six of pentacles. Some of you guys, there's a promotion here on the, on the rising for you. There's a gift here. There's a gesture. There's more money. I see more money for you guys. Yeah. So let's see. I see more money for you guys. So that's good too. What's your advice, spirit? What's your advice for my Virgos? The Emperor. Aries energy. Spirit told me to take that card. I just felt the need to stop there. Three of Cups. Some of you guys, Spirit is advising you that you do need to collab with other people or surround yourself with people that can get you to this emperor status or people that recognize that you are an emperor. You may be within an environment here, whereas you, you're not amongst people that see your growth or see the potential of your growth. You know, this is this talks about collabing here. Again, I see this page of wands. And again, I see that everything is fine. Again, I see that everything is fine. You know what it is? You may, a decision that you have to make may be really, really and truly hard. It may really and truly be hard and you, there's so many unknowns in it. And spirit is still telling you everything is fine. If you truly believe this, I want you guys to put in the comments, I believe. Because spirit really needs you to believe this. Because even, even when you say you believe it, even when you take certain gestures, certain actions to move forward, there's still so much doubt here because this is showing me that there's still so much doubt. I want you guys to put in the comments, I release all doubt, any and all doubt. I want you guys to put that in the comments. I release any and all doubt because there is doubt. You guys have to continue working at this. You guys have to be patient, but also be very discerning about where you invest your time and your energy into. Be very discerning here because you have that devil. There's some type of, there's something that's attached itself to you and or your situation, however this goes. And it's kind of keeping you away from what you want. And I feel like you guys want a fresh start. I feel like you guys want a new beginning here. I do. What's coming towards you in the very near future? Look at that. You have the sun, you have death, and you have justice. You know, that justice is all about good karma. It talks about getting justice, true justice, death, Scorpio energy. There's an ending that's going to bring forth a new beginning. This ending needs to happen. You know that the sun, it talks about allowing for, for healing to open the door for you to be more hopeful because some of you guys, you may be doubting right now, present moment, but it's stepping out of the clouds here, stepping out of an illusion. You know, this is telling me that whatever is going on with you right now, present moment is all in your mind. This is showing me right now, present moment, whatever is going on with you, it is all in your mind. All of it is in your mind. Yeah. Show me, Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos. Hmm. Okay. Angel. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Look at that. Your spirits are sending you an angel here. You guys are protected from harm. You know, you may be in doubt and you may be fearful. That may be why you go back and forth about these decisions that you have to make. But your spirit guides are letting you know that you are protected. That your angels are protecting you here. You know, you're seeking, if you've come here for confirmation, if you've come here for guidance, please affirm that. Let me know in the comments, my loves. Until next time. Bye, guys.